Representative Constantine, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Can you begin by sharing some information about your background? I was born on an Air Force base. I grew up on three continents. I went to six schools between kindergarten and eighth grade. Um, the last place my father was stationed was uh, Warner Robins, Georgia, so I graduated from high school in Macon, Georgia. Um, I have a degree from the University of Georgia. How did you decide to be a legislator? It sort of evolved. Uh, my father actually ran for office uh, three different times in the Mankato area, and I started helping with the campaigns, and um, then was out of it for quite a while. Um, in a local uh, city council election, the gentleman was retiring, and I threw my hat in, and somebody else did, and I won. And, and I just found that I could contribute to the community. Tell us about your district and what your constituents care about. I have basically an urban district in greater Minnesota. Uh, I have Mankato, about 90% of Mankato, and then I have the town of Eagle Lake, and in between Mankato Township. Uh, agriculture is huge in the area. We have a lot of um, manufacturing jobs that are uh, related to agriculture. We have, um, couple of universities. We have a medical center now that has become a destination. Um, it's a pretty diverse community. And I would have to say that the, um, you know, there's a lot of interest in the environment, um, campaign finance reform. What are you going to be working on this upcoming session? Well, everybody's going to be working on transportation. And if we don't get a comprehensive, long-term transportation plan, I'd have to say the sessions a failure and we need it. There's just Blue Earth County where I reside has 200 bridges and they need to be updated and six or seven of them are strict, structurally deficient. So transportation is the number one thing. Um, the other thing is, is I'm finding it harder and harder to rationalize what the PCAs and the people in nursing homes are being paid and it's the legislature that sets their wages basically through the reimbursement and those people are struggling to feed their children and they're hard-working Minnesotans and uh, I find that kind of embarrassing. Who inspires you and what do you find inspirational about him or her? My father um, is probably the best man I've ever known. Um, he cared about people. He was a, a veteran. Um, but the other one I think I'll mention is George Washington. George Washington had the army at his back, the people clamoring for him to be king, and he stepped back and said, no, we're going to be a democracy when he could have easily made himself king of the United States. Um, he and Cincinnatus of the, in Roman times were the only two guys that I'm aware of that had basically absolute power in their grasp and declined to take it. Representative Constantine, thank you for your time. My pleasure.